So today we'll learn how to do a hand-drawn text effect inside of After Effects and this effect can work on your text layers, on your vector layers, all your PNGs, everything you have inside your composition. So let's get started. We'll do this very, very quick and this is really, really easy. So let's just get started. We'll start by creating a new composition, which is 1920 into 1080p. I'll keep the frame rate at 60, but we'll reduce it later. Now I'll go and create a solid for the background. We'll keep it at this blue. And we'll just go ahead and type in some text for now, which is wiggle. I'll write wiggle because that's very creative of me. I couldn't think of anything else for now. Now the thing is we'll work on an adjustment layer. So as I said, it will work on all your elements below it. Now we'll go ahead and create a new adjustment layer. And once you are done, go to effects and presets, type in turbulent displays and you should find this effect. Just drag it onto the adjustment layer. Now we'll see a whole lot of wiggle in the text layer, but we'll need to reduce it for this to work. We'll go to amount 10 and we'll go to size 60. Now I think 10 is also a little more. We can go for 5. Yes, we'll give it 5. Now we'll go and open up evolution options. Now hold option or alt if we're in windows and press on this timer button just beside random seat. This will enable us to add an expression as you can see here. Now we'll type in time into four, which is into is asterisk. So time asterisk four and click on anywhere else. Now this effect should be working. Yes, this is the wiggle we wanted. So as you can see, it's wiggling, right? If it's too much for you, just go ahead and decrease the amount here. Like maybe I'll go with two here. I think this will look a little better. Yes, it's a soft wiggle. It looks good now. But if you also want the edges to animate along, we'll just do a few certain adjustments and we'll be able to do that. So we'll just uh, duplicate this by hitting Command D or Control D if you're in Windows. So there is another turbulent displays. Now we'll decrease the size from 60 to somewhere around maybe 10. Uh, let's keep it at uh, 2 and amount to maybe 100, right? Now you can see the edges have been displaced as well. So you can decrease the amount a little bit. I do not want so much displacement. Now to add some texture, we can just go ahead and increase the complexity from 1 to 2. We'll do that. And let's keep the amount to around 50. Yes, now fit it here. Now we'll also see how this looks. As you can see, the edges are also being animated, which looks really cool. Now this is coming up to that hand run effect thing we were talking about. Now I would like to add something to this. So if we're animating a line, for example, let's draw something over here. We'll draw a line. We'll have it around, yeah. 13 pixels wide and let's just animate sorry align this for the sake of the video it's not good design but yeah we'll do with it so we'll just uh, pull it be below the adjustment layer and it should also wiggle but sorry I will need to decrease the stroke here I'll go with maybe six right it's a so it also kind of looks like a hand drawn line but to make it even further make it real so when you draw a line with a pencil or a pen, it's not uniform everywhere, right? So we'll make that happen here as well. Go to effects and search for roughen edges. This is an effect. Now just go and put it on the shape layer only, not in the adjustment layer. Now we'll see that few of the part of the line has disappeared because the border is set to high. So we'll just keep it to like maybe two. And now maybe we can increase it for this one. We can have it at five. Now we'll see the thickness of the line is not uniform. So that will keep it an effect that it's an hand drawn line. So that was pretty much it for this tutorial. Hope you have enjoyed and this has helped you a lot. Thank you very much for watching this video. This has been Satyajit. See you in the next one.